Hello. So today we are here at the, the San Juan Historical Sites. Um, well, they have a fort. This is the Castillo San the Big Del Mara. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Next Trekking Adventures, where we tour the forts of Old San Juan. We had more uh, video than I wanted to do in one video, so this is part one of our fort tours in Old San Juan. So uh, getting here is pretty easy. If you come in on a cruise ship, you're right there at the ports. It's very walkable to come up to the forts. Uh, wear your tennis shoes because it's going to be a lot of walking, but it's very doable. Where we were at, we walked a little ways to get out of traffic, then we jumped in an Uber that dropped us off right there at the entrance. There is an entrance fee to get into the park. It's uh, $10 a person, but it gets you into both forts. Or you can use your America the Beautiful Pass, and that uh, will get you in free. So yeah, this is as comfortable as it gets in those days for sleeping quarters. I love these old doors. I mean, there's some history, okay? So once you get in, there's a couple options. Uh, you can do a self-guided tour, or there's tours available. Either way, you can walk around and uh, just get a sense of how things were a few hundred years ago.
So this is the powder room. And the guys that worked in the powder room often wouldn't wear any metal on their uh, uniforms as to not spark anything. Terry's going to shine her flashlight in there and see if... Uh, yeah, they've got it closed off. So we're in one of the turrets. That protected the port. And there's the entry to the port right there. This uh, fort. Oh, it's really interesting. So much history here. And I was just saying, I think this is where I've come um, close and heard <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been here a long time. It, uh, they started it in the 1500s, so you think it's seen a few storms. Uh, the main purpose of this was it's the it was the gateway to the Caribbean in and out. So as ships came across from Europe, this is where they had repairs made and uh, from their Atlantic crossing. Uh, it became really important during the pirate era uh, as a safe harbor as well. So a uh, lot of history here, going all the way back to the 1500s. So uh, pretty amazing. Like I said we're in one of the turrets. Uh, so this would been their view and their area of responsibility had there been some form of invasion from uh, ships. And that's what we're overlooking. <laughs> Super cool. So this is the oldest part of the fort. It's the original. They call this the first tower. The first tower. Tower, okay. So I'm assuming where they kind of sailed up was most likely where they had the cannons, yeah. And then this takes you down to sea level. So then this could, this potentially, it was built in 1539. So it's one thing to go down them and it's another thing to go up them. <laughs> So you can just take the little grass path down to this seawall and it overlooks a little uh, oh, graveyard down here. Hopefully you can still hear me through the wind, but yeah. So we are just going to detour down here. Yeah. Yeah. So, got a little bit.
bit of wind. No big deal. Feels good, actually. So we're just kind of walking down to the seawall. You know, if you do this, probably this is the day to wear tennis shoes. Yeah. I've got our tracker on. I think I'm going to try to share that tracker. Um, but I looked at it a little while ago, and it looked like we did about 1.5 miles already. And that was just walking around the fort. So it gives you an idea just how much there is to do while here. up the ramps and stood here and been able to shoot over the wall. So the wind really is a blessing and a curse. I mean, if you were stationed there uh, on those windy days, it had to really help cool things off. Uh, but it's really difficult to make any kind of recording with that wind, and it's really annoying. The next thing that's really cool, and you'll notice that it's, it's a thing. Bring a kite when you come visit. Uh, there's really good winds and there's lots of kite flying going on as you can see in this video and I'm talking through this video I, I killed the sound because you literally can't hear a thing I'm saying I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoor Okay, so we're almost at the end of our tour here or walking around tour, self-getting tour of this fort and with our admissions, uh, you uh, can uh, go to the second floor. And I'll put the names of the floors. Uh, if you have the America Beautiful Pass, which we don't have because we lost in a fire, uh, it can get you in at no charge. So $10 a person, $20. Uh, see the two forts or the America Beautiful Pass which is like 80 bucks a year. And rules are rules. They would accept the email with the card number and everything yeah. on it. So yeah we have the card and the card or we have the email with the card number. Yeah. So and that's okay. Um, you know I, I'd rather give 20 bucks to the national parks than uh, anyone else and you know they've done a fantastic job restoring maintaining it's so clean it's just yeah and and so if you're gonna give 20 bucks to then give it to the national <laughs> <laughs> uh, and like I always say treat it like it's yours uh, because it is it's our national parks and that's one of the really cool things is that uh, we're all public landowners and you know, we have one planet, one thing, one world. Take care of it. Pick up that piece. Don't forget to get your national park passport stamped. Yeah, yeah. So they, you know, they have the national passport, park passports. They had them up there, and uh, you can bring it and they'll stamp it. So. 
Well, we're going to make our way to the other park. I think it's maybe about three quarters of a mile away, which is not big, no big deal. Um, it's like low 80s, uh, a little hot in the sun, but with the wind, it's, it's fine. It's noon and it's 82. It's noon? Oof. Uh, I, we may be uh, stopping and eating something. <laughs> And, and I don't think we'll have a problem finding some place to eat here in Old San Juan. So we did a nighttime tour and we're kind of excited to see what it looks like during the day. So, uh, I, we did notice on our Uber uh, right in there was a cruise ship in port. So we're competing a little bit with the cruise ship folks. So, um, and an Uber ride from downtown to the Old San Juan right on the strip uh, to here was $7.87. Right. Very affordable. Yeah, so we're staying on uh, Ashford Avenue, about midstream. Um, and, uh, yeah. yeah. Or a 20-minute walk. <laughs> or or longer, but it's not, it's not that far. It's about four miles. Yeah. So we figured we were going to get all our steps in we needed <laughs> on our tours. We'd, we'd take a car over here. We might walk back there. Yes. Yeah. All right. Take care. So we did about four and a half miles between the two forts for the day. We hope you like this video and you'll tune back in for part two of our old San Juan fort tour. Hope you'll subscribe, like, and ring the bell for future notifications. And follow us on some of our other social media. Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you on our next trekking adventure.